So I've gone ahead and got in my handsaw handle pretty much just made up on this. And as you can see, I have a bunch of little uh, notes right here. And those are gonna be where I actually use a uh, Forstner bit to drill out the corners. And this gives me a perfect round edge. And then I'll use a saw to connect in between. So I've got the sheet cut and I got a piece of wood cut out for this. This is a one inch thick piece of wood, which is what the handle needs to be. I've got some spray adhesive. I'm just going to spray the back of this, let it get tacky, and then we're going to stick it onto the actual wood. making sure that everything is gonna be on that piece of wood. So here it is with all of the holes drilled out and uh, I had to change some of them up when I was choosing to drill them. I think I had like this one for a half inch and it ended up being more like five eighths. Could have been a little bit smaller to get a tighter radius right there, but these two matched up to the corners pretty quick and uh, are pretty close. So did that one, that one. And this one I thought it was gonna be like an inch and a half and it ended up being an uh, inch and an eighth. So pretty much put the, um, the Forstner bit there and just kind of rotate it around until you get that nice little arc right there. And uh, so now we're gonna take a, our bandsaw and get most of this cut out. This will have to be with like a fret saw or something, but uh, we're almost there. So now we have the rough part of the saw handle cut out and we need to get the uh, fret saw and cut out this middle section and then we'll be able to get a, a file and really be able to clean up a lot of this stuff where the, uh, where the bandsaw blade met each other on different uh, parts. But uh, for the main portion, this is uh, pretty good. As you can see, I've gotten most of the paper off. If you do this part quick enough, usually it comes off and you don't really have to worry about it. If you let something sit with the adhesive on there for a little while, it does tend to stick a little bit more and you gotta work at it a little bit more. But now I am ready to uh, grab a round and a flat file and start doing the shaping of it. For the most part, it's gonna go pretty quick but then where the handle is and stuff like that where you got to put your hand that's where uh, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming because you want to make sure you get that fit and that feel correct.
So here is the old handsaw handle, and here is the new one. I've gotten most of it refined. There's still some sanding that needs to be done on here. But what I want to go ahead and do now is get the uh, little bolt holes drilled. And the way I did this to get the exact uh, matchup on the new handsaw is I put these two together and lined them all up to where I thought they should be and clamped them together. And I used a drill bit and I used a drill bit and put it through here one that fits very tight and when it's straight up and down I popped it on the top like a uh, transfer punch and uh, then it has given me the exact bolt holes of where I need to drill right there 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 and one right here and so now I will go with a Forstner bit drill out the little recess in here then i will drill a regular hole through and i will stop once the tip gets just on the other side and that will come with a forstner bit on the other side and finish drilling these recesses so here it is where the forstner bit has been drilled into it and you can see it leaves that little divot and this will allow the drill bit to sit perfectly into it. I've got the set screw or the uh, stops set up on the drill press so it comes to just barely bumping onto the other side and then we'll drill out the forstner bit on this side and finish it up. So there it is on this side with them barely poking through got uh, one right here and one right here these are more ideal of what I want these I got a little bit farther down and uh, but the tip of the Forstner bit will still sit in there and then we'll just make the rest of the recesses and here you guys can see that I've gotten it fitted on the handle I've had to tweak it a little bit and saw out some different parts right here in the uh, bottom and then there was a section of wood right here in the middle that's stopping the saw from going all the way in so after i had all the holes drilled i can go ahead and line them all up and that's where i was kind of trying to tweak it around a little bit and uh, now we've got the hardware over here that i need to get cleaned up and then we can uh, go ahead and put it all on get um i'm gonna go ahead and put uh, one more coat of or like sand it one more time and then go ahead and start applying the uh, shellac finish on the handle. So after getting all the holes drilled, I went ahead and put four coats of shellac on the handle and I've installed all the hardware and the handle looks fantastic. It is burnt right there in that little spot. Um, I didn't want to keep on sanding on it and wear away on that little piece right there. But the handle turned out really nice, I think. And I'm very impressed with it. It looks great on the saw. And now we have a saw that once was all broken apart, rusted completely. You guys didn't see the last video, this saw blade was completely rusted over uh, cleaned it up and then re-blued it so it wasn't really nice and shiny and it really offsets with the uh, with the handle so there you guys go replicating a handsaw handle very simple went from this handle that was all cracked to putting it on a piece of paper tracing it and then transferring the cutout onto a piece of maple cutting it out and then doing all the holes and everything like that and uh it looks great it's a major improvement from the previous handle thanks guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i've got more coming out like this we've got this handsaw that got redone and now i'm gonna go ahead and get it sharpened up in a different uh different time i'm not gonna film it uh gonna get that sharpened up get it back into use and then check out what else i have to uh go ahead and get back into use as well i got a couple other handles that need to get replaced uh some hand planes that need to get redone stuff like that so thanks guys for tuning in and watching uh, the video on uh replicating a handsaw handle hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you guys are new welcome hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next project